Something significant is happening deep within our planet. Earth's inner core has suddenly slowed down and started rotating in the opposite direction. The inner core is a solid iron sphere, about the size of Pluto, located at the very center of the Earth. Researchers from the University of Southern California have noticed these major changes in its behavior, and their findings have generated considerable interest and concern within the scientific community. Scientists claim that changes in the core's rotation can impact Earth's magnetic field, and this magnetic field acts as a protective shield against harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. Changes in the rotation of the inner core can potentially alter the strength and structure of this magnetic field. What has scientists particularly concerned is that the Sun is currently undergoing its pole reversal phase. This is a natural cycle that occurs approximately every 11 years, during which the Sun's magnetic poles switch places. During this time, the Sun becomes more active, producing increased solar flares and coronal mass ejection, large bursts of solar wind and magnetic fields that can affect space weather. The timing of these two events, the changes in Earth's inner core and the Sun's pole reversal, has raised concerns among scientists. If the reversal of Earth's core impacts the magnetic field, it could potentially weaken our planet's defenses against these powerful solar flares. This could lead to disruptions in satellite communications, power grids, and other technologies that rely on stable magnetic conditions. In extreme cases, it could even pose a threat to life on Earth by allowing more harmful solar radiation to reach the surface. Scientists have warned that such an event could happen soon, and they are working diligently to understand and prepare for its potential impact. What this paper from a Harvard astronomer indicates is that as long as the reversal is relatively short-lived, you know, decades or hundreds of years, it's okay for life on planet Earth. However, it's not okay for a high technology civilization and it'd definitely be worth our while to spend some money to protect the power grids. Well, let us first understand what exactly is happening to the Earth's inner core and what impact it will have on the Earth's magnetic field. Earth's composition is more complicated than we think and is changing continuously every day. The inner part of the planet can be divided into three different layers, crust, mantle, and core. Earth's core is the hottest part of the planet, equivalent to that of the sun's surface. The core is buried around 5,180 kilometers deep inside the Earth and consists mainly of iron and nickel. The inner core is surrounded by a liquid metal outer core, which acts as a barrier with the rest of the Earth. This barrier allows Earth's core, akin to a hot, solid ball of metal, to spin independently and not necessarily align with the rest of the planet. Danish seismologist Inge Lehmann discovered the planet's inner core in 1936. Since then, scientists have continued to debate its rotation speed and direction. One reason scientists have limited evidence to prove their point is that it is impossible to observe or collect direct samples of Earth's deep interior. Consequently, most studies rely on variations in seismic waves of similar strengths passing through the core at different times. One promising model proposed in 2023 described that inner core that in the past had spun faster than Earth itself, but was now spinning slower. For a while, the scientists reported the core's rotation matched Earth's spin. Then it slowed even more, until the core was moving backward relative to the fluid layers around it. At the time, some experts cautioned that more data was needed to bolster this conclusion, and now another team of scientists has delivered compelling new evidence for this hypothesis about the inner core's rotation rate. A new finding published in the journal Nature in June this year sheds light on this ongoing debate. Data from seismograms of repeated earthquakes and explosions indicate that the rotation speed of the solid inner core has been gradually slowing relative to the Earth's surface over the past few years.
This research not only confirms the Earth's overall slowdown, but also supports scientists' claims made in 2023 that the core's deceleration is part of a long-term pattern of alternating periods of slowing down and speeding up. Dr. John Wydell, Dean Professor of Earth Sciences at the Dornsife College of Letters says, We've been arguing about this for 20 years and I think this seals the deal. But not everyone agrees that the matter is settled and how the slowdown of the inner core might affect our planet is still an open question. Some experts say this slowdown of the inner core could affect Earth's magnetic field, and they warn that this could cause serious problems for us right now. When the rotation of the inner core changes, it can influence the behavior of the molten iron in the outer core. Even subtle shifts in the core's rotation can lead to changes in the flow of this molten iron, which in turn can affect the strength and orientation of the magnetic field. For example, if the inner core slows down or changes direction, it might alter the patterns of convection in the outer core. This could lead to fluctuations in the magnetic field, causing it to weaken or shift its poles. Such changes might not be immediately noticeable, but over time, they could have significant effects on the planet. A weaker magnetic field could allow more solar radiation to reach the Earth's surface, potentially disrupting satellite communications, navigation systems, and power grids. It could also increase the exposure of living organisms to harmful radiation. Scientists are particularly concerned because the Sun is currently undergoing its pole reversal phase, a period of increased solar activity and strong solar flares. There is a possibility that a powerful solar flare could hit the Earth when the Earth's magnetic field weakens due to the ongoing slow rotation of the Earth's core. The weakening of the magnetic field could lead to increased radiation on the planet, which could affect living cells and lead to increased rates of cancer in animals. It could also disrupt the migratory patterns of animals, including birds and sea turtles, that rely on the magnetic field for navigation. The probability of something like this happening is very low, but still not zero, and scientists say that we should be prepared for such an event in advance. So, while the flipping of the Earth's poles is a phenomenon that merits attention and study, it is not an immediate cause for alarm. The process is gradual and part of the Earth's natural cycle. Scientists continue to monitor the magnetic field and its changes to better understand the implications for our planet and its inhabitants. The Earth's magnetic field remains a subject of fascination and an area of active research as we seek to comprehend the full scope of its influence on our world.